Hello, hello, I'm Rambo. Today we got a little gameplay on Aquarium. A little bit of Black Ops 3 gameplay here. I'm playing Domination here, and I got my KN44 with a grip, fast draw, stock, and a silencer on that. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this gun, but it is pretty good. Some people love it. It's not the best weapon for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay yesterday. I put up a little Star Wars. Um, I played some Supremacy. Uh, let me know what you guys want out of my videos because you know sometimes I just don't know uh, if you're wondering what else I have on this class I've got the for my perks I've just got six cents fast hands and awareness that's really all I run I don't run any secondaries um, lethals or anything like that for me it's better for me just to max out my gun with attachments and then have three perks that's that seems to be the most effective. My kill streaks. I've just got the support um, to help my team out. I've got counter UAV, UAV, and uh, the hater, which is the SR71. If you guys don't know by now, later on in the video, you'll see that um, I start using the Pharaoh because the KN's just not working for me. And on that gun, I've got the the grip, fast draw, stock, and FMJ. As soon as I unlock extended mags for that gun, I'll be putting that on. So don't, uh, I'll, re I'll replace FMJ with extended mags. And for that, for that particular class, I'm gonna be putting on black jacket, fast hands, and gung gung ho. I believe that's how you say it. I'm not too sure, but anyways, gung ho is just like the main part of it. Is it just allows you to aim from the hip while sprinting. So in an SMG, that's pretty big. Because if I can run around corners. And be firing, you know. That's that's a that's a pretty big advantage. You'll see later on in the video. But this video isn't necessarily the best of gameplays, and it's certainly probably not the smartest for me to upload it as my first gameplay for Call of Duty. But there's a there's a certain significance to it. It's it's not necessarily a really high KD, although it's decent. Uh, I think it's just above a 2.0, which is not, it, it's lower than my KD on this game. I think I'm around a 3. Um, but I, I don't really worry about my KD too much as I do my win to loss ratio. And in this particular game plan, I'm playing with a couple friends. They're not the best players, but they're, I've known them for, you know, six years now. So they're pretty good buddies of mine. We, we enjoy winning, but honestly, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 is a blast. I, I've just been playing it for a little bit of fun, so... I don't play competitively because for me that's just that drains the fun out of it. So, like I said, um, just having a little fun here. Uh, but right here was actually a pretty good clip. I think I took on four or five of them right here. I was like, oh crap! And then luckily I got him with the very last bullet. So as you can see, we're you know we're kind of taking a beating. I was getting frustrated with my team. And right here, man, it just sucks because I had I just had opened my scythe up and I get tempest, just shot across the map from the tempest, which is beast weapon. I would probably be using the tempest or the annihilator, but I maxed out both characters, so I'm really big on leveling up quick. And the way to level up quick is to prestige your weapons right away. And as soon as you get done with one character, go on with another one because you get the challenge uh, bonuses. So that's, that's one way to level up really quick. Um, besides the actual gameplay, I just wanted to share with you a little little bit of the tips and tricks of Call of Duty. Um, as you can see at the end of the game, I do get a pretty big score. It's definitely not my largest. I think I've gotten 14,000 score in one game, which is by far the highest I've ever seen. But um, in this particular gameplay, I believe I get like 74, 7,800 score, which is still more than I've ever seen in a public match and even on a YouTube video so far so I wanted to share this one just because I, I did it yesterday number one so it's a decent gameplay I got my Elgato uh, recording device three days ago when Star Wars came out that night so I don't have many gameplays recorded yet so this was the, the, the best one and I'm just trying to upload videos for you guys so this is a great example because it shows to you guys I'm not really worried about my kill death ratio I'm worried about winning, and I'm worried about you know ranking up quick. So that's the big thing in Black Ops 3. If you can level up quick, you know you're going to be above the rest. 
So one of the main things, besides what I've already discussed, is using the hater, uh, the counter UAV, and the UAV. If you guys are real big on kill death ratio, then I suggest using perhaps a missile, uh, the Hellstorm. Um, then maybe the Wraith, which is a overpowered kill streak in my opinion, and then top it off with the Raps. That, those are that, those three kill streaks are by far the most potent. So that's what I'd use if I weren't using the you know the support UAVs and stuff. But if you use the support, uh, you'll get a lot more points because you get a, like 20 points for each assist. So that means every time a teammate kills somebody, if you have a UAV and a counter UAV up, you get 40 points. So it, it uh, levels you up a lot quicker than any kill kill streak would. Um, and keep in mind in this game, it's not really a kill streak, it's all about score streaks. So getting a lot of kills and maintaining a lot of like a high kill death ratio doesn't really do anything for you. What I recommend is staying near the objectives and if you can, hop on an objective if you know enemies are around because if you can pick them off while you're on the objective, you get 200 points. So that'll, you know, you get three kills on an objective, that's 600 points already. You're halfway to your racks. Um, that's very effective. So, now that I've got all that covered, I'm going to just go over this gameplay now. I, at this moment in time, I was very, very frustrated with my teammates. I was like, come on guys, you guys aren't even hopping on the objectives. And then right here, like, I think that, that my buddy is staring down that right side, so I look away to get our back, and he's like, oh, I don't trust you, so both of us died right there. So I was very, very frustrated. I had thoughts of backing out and rage quitting, but I was like, eh, screw it. I think this will be a cool challenge if we can come back. So uh, in a little bit, you'll see me change to the Pharaoh. Um, I got my Sith now. And I'm about to use it, I believe. Yeah, yeah. I think right here, I might use it and I get shut down. I'm not too sure, don't quote me on that. But yeah, this map is definitely not my favorite, but it is a fun one. Uh, in my opinion, these maps are pretty well balanced, although there's a couple that I hate. I hate Metro, I hate this one, but I still I still do pretty good. Overall, I love Black Ops 3. My, it, it's just a, it's one of the best um, Call of Duties, I should say, in the past six years. I've only been playing since Black Ops 3, so... I haven't been playing for too long. So yeah, right here you saw me get a, a capture kill, which means I got 200 points. And on top of that, I got the capture itself, which is another 200. Right there, you get a kill on a capture, that's 400 points. It's, you know, that's going to level you up quick. Right here, I'm just going through the center trying to get on B, because I, I know we're down, I, we don't have long. I believe I get killed right here pretty quick. Yeah, yeah, right here. So I poke my head out, boom. And then I believe I switch to Pharaoh after this next death. Because right here I get a couple kills with my Sith. And then I change to the Pharaoh. I'm like, alright, well if, if I can't rush and win, then we're not going to win. Yeah, I get this guy and then I poke my head out like an idiot. Get one more kill. Or actually two more. I come around this corner and get him. And there's somebody else right here. I didn't know he was right here. Yeah, so pardon me, I uh, guess I didn't switch to the Pharaoh, but I know it's after this death. <laughs> if it's not, then I'm crazy. See, it, these guys, I mean, they they look like noobs, but they were playing the objective well. They weren't rolling by themselves, they were rolling as packs, they are head glitching, but I mean, do what you gotta do. If it's part of the game, then do it. Yeah, so right here I, I pulled out the Pharaoh. And you'll see the effectiveness of uh, of the gung ho with the SMGs. And this don't don't think that this is my favorite SMG because it's not. My favorite is the Razorback, but I already I already uh, maxed that one out as well as the CUDA. So those two are my favorite, and then I think this one's a close second. Right here we uh, we start working as a team a little bit better, but. We're still down 30 points, and we got a lot to make up 
Uh, I know if we didn't dominate a little bit, we would lose. So right here, that was a pretty clutch kill on my part. Uh, not to boast on my own. Not to toot my own horn, I should say. Yeah, right there, the perfect ex example of Gun Cow being a good perk with uh, the SMGs. Pretty crucial. Right here, yeah, just get owned. And then luckily, my buddy there, Sick, Sick Reaper, uh, he was protecting the house while I was doing bad. So I'm in a little slump here. And I'm just trying to protect the objectives to my best ability. And I thought about editing all this stuff out, but I thought it was kind of important for you guys to see what I'm doing uh, when we're down and losing. Because it's not like I can just pull it out of my butt and just hope that I do well. Because that's not how it goes. I, I go on death streaks, but I get, it's you know it's up to me to get it back. Right there, uh, my buddy just got killed. He was on a pretty high kill streak, like Sparrow. And right here, I go, I go off. Oh, this is hilarious. I just refuse to shoot this guy, and then I get screwed by the the other uh, yeah, the other enemy. We got a little fist fight, throwing fists everywhere. Right here is the turning point of the match. Without this, uh, we probably would have lost because they had three or four people going to B right then. And I, I luckily took them out. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. It's wrapping up now. Um, if you guys want anything else or you want a different kind of commentary or perhaps just game audio, right now I'm working on getting the game audio device. I don't have it. It didn't come with the Elgato, so I'll, I'll work on that. As soon as I have that, uh, you'll, you'll hear the audio as well as commentary, or maybe you guys don't want commentary. So tell me what you guys think. Um, leave a comment, and we'll go from there. Thanks. Rambo out.